Welcome back to the GLF. I'm Natasha Elkington, and I'm here with um, Amos Abu from the World Bank. Natasha, it's a pleasure to be with you, especially uh, to feature in this uh, GLF. Thank you very with much. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. And we've got a representative from the government of Nigeria, Salisu Dahiru. Thank you, Natasha. Thank you. Welcome. So we'll begin with you, Amos. Please tell us the World Bank's role in um, landscape restoration. Thank you very much. Uh, the World Bank is playing a very key and leading role in landscape restoration in Nigeria in more ways than one. Number one, the bank is supporting the preparation of the national strategy for forest management. And of course, the bank is financing the Transformation of Nigeria Erosion and Watershed Management Project. For the purposes of this discussion, I think uh, the focus will be on this transformational project, which is a total of $900 million, wow. with, of course, the support of um, GAF, as well as uh, the Special Climate Change Fund. At the very beginning, this project resulted from the fact that Nigerian landscapes will be decimated. And the trend was such that tend to have defied all solutions. And so the then president approached the World Bank for a solution. And he was also very categorical in saying that, yes, we need money to be able to, to address this problem, give it the scale. But he also emphasized that they also needed the science, the how to make this happen on a sustainable basis. The bank they put in place a multi-sector team, and it may interest you to know that this project actually has three TTS, respectively from environment and natural resource management, water resources management, and agriculture. That tells you the multifaceted aspects of this development challenge. What the bank has done is to bring the science of delivery to ensure that the designs to start with are done in accordance with international best practices. And in this respect, there is one key element that was hit to missing in the designing of such interventions in Nigeria. That is the introduction of bioremediation, that is tree planting. The tree planting has multiple benefits. Apart from the fact that it helps to restore the stability of the soil. It actually protects the physical infrastructure, the water infrastructure that is built as a result of this, of this project. Then, of course, is the community ownership and participation. Actually, it takes community to make this type of result possible. And the ownership of the community, their vigilance, their diligence, and their insistence that this project must be successful is in large measure responsible for the results that we are celebrating uh, today. That is not all. The active participation of non-government actors, NGOs, CSO, the media, has brought in a lot of light, what you otherwise refer to as transparency. And today, the federal government of Nigeria specifically the Federal Ministry of Environment, has taken the Nigeria Erosion and Watershed Management Project as their golden standard for intervention on landscape challenges in Nigeria. That is not all. We started small. We started with seven states that were actually in the thick of landscape degradation in Nigeria. Today, it may interest you to know that as a result of the accomplishments of this project, mm -hmm government has requested and we've actually faced in 19 states where this project is being implemented. And the results are there. Indeed, the project as of today is oversubscribed. And we are even trying to limit additional states from, wow. from coming in. But I don't know whether we can, how long we can hold back uh, uh, states from, from participating because they see the results and they want to be part of, of this. Okay, so um, Sally Sue, so I'm going to ask you about the GLF. Why do you think it's important to have this uh, conference? You see, you see, for for a very critical project like the Nigeria Erosion and Watershed Management Project, mm -hmm. that has various sectors actively involved, there's always the need to 
improve. Mm. How do we improve? We improve by learning lessons, sharing experiences, and a platform like GLF has provided us this wonderful opportunity. Um, for the two days, yesterday and today, it's been a whole lot of um, eye-opening, mm. um, sharing of information and then sharing of experiences, and more importantly, getting the right networking to be done, you know, and, and we've really benefited from this. We've seen uh, innovations from a, a very important sector, the youth, coming up with, with, with innovative ideas that can easily add value to what we're doing in this project. And um, we are looking forward to several more GLF fora to be able to, to, to gain this experience. Great, thank you. So I have one more question about government. What I realize there's a lot of momentum um, here with everyone wanting to you know, restore land. Is, is there enough government will? How much more can governments do? What role do they need to play? Um, in Africa, maybe yeah. you can, yeah. Most especially for issue of landscape restoration, it is clear mm. that government alone cannot do this. It needs development partners and one of the best partners for accompanying countries to deliver on this is the World Bank. Two main reasons. The financial muscle is so, is, is so versatile. Right. And the technical support it brings the expertise and experiences from different parts of the world that the bank has already gotten in its uh, in its database and it is and in its archives you know can be brought to bear and we've seen this well articulated in the support that the world bank has been given to the government of nigeria how does the government partner with the bank mm -hmm. In this, in this, in this wise, first it provides the enabling environment, and for this wonderful project, government comes with two basic inputs: one, counterpart funding uh, that is in the range of between 11 to about 12, 13 okay. percent of the cost of the project, mm -hmm. and it also brings in the infrastructure the staffing and the community involvement and mobilization is also on the part of government and this has really helped in helping uh, NUMAP to record the successes that my colleague uh, Amos and for us in NUMAP it is one team there's no difference between the bank and government okay. and the communities Great. in fact as we are talking at the moment Two of the completed sites are being commissioned by the state government in conjunction with the federal government in one state, Enugu. Great. Yes. Great news. Yes. Well, thank you very much thank for joining so much. us. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay, okay. I really appreciate it.